we now look at the first application of QED uh, to the case of scattering between electrons. We will describe this process in the center of mass of the two electrons, therefore uh, their momenta are always opposite and equal in magnitude. At lowest order in perturbation theory, we have two Feynman diagrams which contribute to this amplitude. The first diagram is the direct term and the second diagram is the exchange term because the electrons are indistinguishable. So let's apply the Feynman rules to calculate the amplitude for the first diagram, the direct term. The fact that uh, we represent one vertex before the other is just for convenience. In fact, um, we have different time orderings. We could move this vertex before uh, if we want, but that's the same thing. The technique to write the amplitude is to read the diagram from right to left, so backward in time. We also need to label each line by its form momentum and for the fermionic line by the spin. For the photon applying energy momentum conservation at uh, this vertex, we see that its momentum must be p minus k. So one corresponds to an outgoing fermion, therefore uh, its spinner is u bar. Then in two we have a vertex. In principle, I should also have an energy momentum conservation uh, written explicitly at this vertex. However, because uh, we already have uh, used energy momentum conservation at this one to write the propagator for the photon as p minus k, and we know we have an overall energy momentum conservation uh, between p, p dash, and k, k dash, therefore there is no need for uh, this uh, additional energy momentum for this, for this vertex because um, it's going to be redundant and it's going to be removed by rule number 7. So in 3 we have a U spinner, then in 4 we have the propagator for uh, the photon. In principle we should integrate over the momentum for the internal line, the photon, however because of energy conservation at each vertex there is only one possible value which survives and which, il which is killed by the delta function. So we have already um, used that in writing uh, the momentum for the photon as p minus k. Then in 5 we have a u bar, in 6 we have the vertex, and in 7 we have u for the momentum p and spin s. We introduced earlier a property for the spinners. We see that using this property uh, we can uh, recognize it here and therefore cancel the term with a division by uh, m squared. So note that uh, these two terms in between brackets are just C numbers. So far we haven't used the fact that we were uh, in the center of mass frame and we can use that in order to uh, change our p minus k squared uh, into uh, Euclidean vectors. The exchange term can be calculated in the same way and now in order to get the cross-section uh, which is proportional to the probability for this process we need to calculate the modulus squared of the amplitude. 